All right, and welcome back to The Defining Moment. My name is Anthony Ndema. And today we are speaking to Victor Solomon, who, you know, had a very rough background, um, a violent parent, father, and he grew up seeing that, challenges with, you know, having school fees. But God helped him, and he, you know, he went through school, he went to, the, to college, and uh, he got an education, and God blessed him. But then he gets into marriage, gets a fast, uh, you know, baby girl, beautiful celebration. Uh, gets a second baby girl right there in hospital when uh, the baby is born, normal delivery, the baby dies. So here they get a third born and this child is, you know, very healthy. So he's gone to hospital. So when gets Vitali, kila kitu kikosao, merudi nyumbani kwa tayarishia chakula, ili wende watu hospitali. Ndiyo. Badai. Badai. Kijia mvlana. Mlikuwa mempatia jina? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It was called Joel Austin. Joel Austin. Yes. Wow. Yes. So mm -hmm. before ni mchukua hospitali, nika pigua simu. Mm. Daddy, uko hapi? Si hata mamu. Hawa manasa. Uko hapi? Hebu kimbia, kimbia kabisa hapa hospitali. Nika shindwa ni nini niendele? I was in Mudoro. Nilikuwa natafuta food. Ah. Right. Obvious fish, fish yes. in your tunapenda uko. Yes. So I was looking for good fish, ni ende ni pike ni wapeleke. So now I was like, kimbia, kimbia, karibu atagari ni gonge hapo. When I was criss-crawling. Mm. Nika sama, what ni kama tu ni me, ya ni kitu tu. Ulishituka. Ya kabisa, kabisa. What, what, what went through your mind when you were called? Nika pigia sasa, wife. Mm -hmm. Ashiki simu. Mm. Sasa hapo, nika pigia kama, and, and like mara four. Yes. Ashiki, nika shituka. I remember nilikimbia migu wata siku pandagari from Mudurwa to it was Ngara, wow. around Ngara, mm. health center. So kufika pale, but naenda tu kuna kitu kine nambia tu there's a problem. Mm. So uyo nasi nikampigia around that plaka, haka nambia, uwe kimbia, mtoto ni kama apumui vizuri, oh, oh. haku kwa oxygen. So sa nikasema, oh God, mm. why me again? So kufika napata mama na whale, mama na lia kulia. Na muliza ni nini inapena. Kwa nambia huyo pia meenda. Oh my. So that one was now another beginning of problems. Mm. It was not easy for me. I really cried a lot. I really cried. It was so much pain. I was mm. like, now why? Why? Home huko kuna shida. Mm. Huko kungine pia ni meoa. Nilikuwa na fikiri ya komba life can really be good. Still, I, there's nothing good yani which I'm now seeing. So I was like, God, why me? Actually, that thing can let her into depression. I remember losing my job now. Ile ambaye nilikuwa nimepata. Because I could not perform ata kwa kazi. Mm, Kana ambaye, you have a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have a problem. So they knew, ati mimi ni mwenye meo kuka mwenye naomba. So wanasema, haa wenye wanaombanga sana. Haa wanasumbanga kwa kazi. Because, because yaani mara mingi tuwe ku just like, ni kwa hivi tu. So yeah. wakasema, if at all you want to go pray, you go pray. They couldn't understand what I was going through. And because of that, they chased me away from job. We lost you. Now I'm there, I don't have a job. Mama pia nafanya tu hasur pidokudogo. Mm. So life was now becoming so difficult. And, and when this child passed on, eh, yes. um, I, I'm sure now a lot of things even culturally came up. Yes. Sasa ni mtoto wapili ya mekufa. Kuna, you know, rogi. Yeah. Many things were said. What, what, what went through? Mimi nilikuwa naambiwa, like? mimi nilikuwa naambiwa huyo mwanamke ni mwanamke mbaya. Mm. Amepitia yani vitu zingine za huko huko huko. Uh -huh. Ama ni seme like mimi pia alikuwa na boyfriend wa kitamba alikuwa anataka kumuoa uh -huh. na akamchukua. Sasa huyo ndiye anakufuata. I had a lot, a lot of, of things. things. Yeye pia pale anaambiwa huyo mwanamume wako ndiye anahanya. Unajua mm. watoto wakikufa hivyo inamaanisha kwamba so there was a lot of a lot of confusion. Wow. But I remember she really stood with the word of God. And I remember her telling me, Daddy, usijali. Si wewe upo na mimi nipo, mm. bado tutaza. And I'm like, kwani, ya ya kili yako ni mbaya ama ni nini. Yani alikuwa naona vile nilikuwa down, nikakuwa yeah. mgonjwa. Mm. I remember nilipele kwa Metropolitan Hospital. Na nikalazo pale, wakanipima. There was no disease. Mm. But I'm just there for one week. Because I was completely sick. Right. Kasema huyo ni kama akili yake natake ya mm. So it was a problem, a big one. Wow. Uko home, remember, I was the breadwinner and my mother pia kuna stroke. Hawezi yata kula, hawezi fanya chochote. Hie pia mechukuliwa mepele kwa hosi. So I'm in the hospital, my mother also is in the hospital. And you have no job. I have lost a job. job. Yes. 
I just used to cry and cry. That was tough. Yeah. How was the burial like for this? The I burial now in the Sasa ilikuwa ngumu zaidi. Because I was left alone. alone. Yeah. Because they told me to chase this woman long so time ago. So that they can support you. Yes, but I refused. So because nilikata, na mama pia kaniambia, mimi hakuna mali naenda. You are my man. I'm your wife. Mm. There is no problem. Everything happened with, 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 with God's will. So because of that, ah, tulika tuna yetu. Right. So burial tena huyo pia nikampeleka langata. langata. Tough, eh? Very tough. Ukifika pale, ukikumbuka yule mwingine mwenye alishia kufa, mm. huyo mwingine pia mwangleta pale. What was the gap like? The gap, that one was 20, 2013. Right. And this one, 2016. Three years. So like yeah, three years. Wow. Yeah. So it was just like that. We buried him. Mm. I came back and I said, I will be alone with my family. Eh, mwandiko inasema kwamba mwanamke akiolewa anaachana na wewe pia ukiolewa ukiona anaachana na so I nikaziba masikio. Nikasema I don't want to hear more about what people are saying right. because if the woman loves me mm. and I love her mm. God will still and And there's God us. in your marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's important. Yeah. So wow. bado tu nilikuwa mgonjwa but mama alikuwa strong. She was very strong for Your me. Wife, right. Very strong and very strong alikuwa naomba mimi sikuwa naomba. Mm. I left I left prayers. Wow. Yeye alikuwa sasa yeye anaomba. So out of that nikaanza uimbaji. Nikasikia kama nyimbo zinanikujia mingi sana. Right. And of course I went to studio because I just want those things people to hear them. Mm. Yes. So that so is how the, So that was. experience now formed I mean you started getting word. Yes, of course 20 2013 when I lost the other one also mm. inilianza kuimba but I kwa deep. Right. Yes, I recorded a song by Eshimu Mungu. Okay. Yeah, respect God. Right. Kuna meaning yake. Uh-huh. Yeah, so ingine pia nikapata uimbaji mwingine pale, right. kapata wimbo. So, so, going, so, so what are you saying? Sasa Victor? kuna kitu nzuri sana ambaye I think healed me. Right. Healed me. Now, after that, simtoto ameziko mwezi wa 7, mwezi 16, right. Yeah. Mm. Before the end of the month, I don't know what happened the mother conceived wow before around 28th just like one month later yes uh-huh. she conceived na lipo beba huyo mtoto kanambia daddy do you know what nilikwambia mimi nitazaa na niko na niko na kwambia hii hapana hakuna kitu kama hiyo now the other ones unaoje the normal woman vile anatapika vile na yes. mgonjwa yeah. huyo sasa is a miracle baby ako kwa tumbo lakini mama gonjeki hata kidogo So na kuna morning sickness everything is nothing, okay. There's nothing nothing. Baka nikamwambia umebeba mawe. Hii <laughs> si mtoto. <laughs> Because I, I mimi nilikuwa nimechanganyikiwa mm. kabisa. So nikasema so akaendelea alipofika mwezi sita, alipopimwa akapatikana yenyewe ni mtoto. Right. Woga ikaingia tena. I know because now the second baby mm. gone, third baby gone. Mm. So you're getting worried. Yes. Huyu mtoto akizaliwa. Mm. What did you do? What did the worry do in you? Ah uh, ah uh, it was it was nilikuwa na gongwa inaitwa ngani na moyo ama na roho yes sana tu kabisa unashtuka yeah so mm. hata nikipanda gari tu na bamba tu kidogo tu una mimi yo peke yake mmenipatia ugonjwa wow ama nisikie tu muda na shout mahali tu nasikia tu kama mm. yani ni kama ile hiyo nini ilikuwa na rudi yeah mm. so nikakata and the woman used to pray my house was a prayer center Right. Uma mama alikuwa anapiga makelele mpaka majirani wakasema nyinyi muamini hapa. <laughs> And that woman just used to pray, used to wow. pray, used to pray. Kaambia wow. God, this one I will give birth to this one. And she, she or he will live. Where was your faith then? I know you're born again. Where was your faith at this particular point? Now you can talk about it. I was almost losing hope. Wow. I was almost losing hope. So you, because your of the wife, wife played a huge role. Huge in holding until you until that wow yeah yeah i was almost so very man, almost so man six, wow mm. man six, man seven, yeah. eight, nine. Uh, uh, you're getting worried by the day <laughs> yeah so ilipo fika uh-huh. I, i i remember i went for a mission in lodwa right so mama kanipigia kaniambia ni kama ski vizuri nikaogopa wow. nikashtuka nikapanda gari from Lodwa to Nairobi hata silali watu wanalala you know it's a long long distance me long. i couldn't sleep so niko na headache na meza matembe but i could not sleep nasema tu itakuwaaje yeah. so i said let me change the hospitals because ile ingine mm. nikachange change so mm. i changed to another hospital and uh, we went there na nikakuwa na yeye kutoka asubuhi mpaka usiku akadeliver 
wow. still normal. Normal delivery. Another baby boy. Yes. Eh? Did you get worried? Did you 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 very worried? You ulikuwa hapo sasa utoke. Wakati alikuwa anajifungua nikatoka because tuliacha yule mwingine kwa nyumba peke yake mtoto. Ah, yes. So I had to come back. Yes. Uh, nini? To come back and take care of. So kurudi akaniambia, "Ah, mimi nimejifungua vizuri. Mungu ni mwema." Namwambia saa ngapi na nimekuacha saa hizi? Eh? Mtoka usiani saa mbili. Yes. Akaniambia nimejifungua na Mungu ni mwema. Mtoto yuko. Kambi ebu ebu mwangalie vizuri i wanted to go back to those people yes akaniambia kwa sababu mm. so the following day asubuhi the devil wanted to again steal this one uh-huh. akapigwa na baridi kabisa na kashikwa na jontis oh oh so kufika hosi mimi siko na jua jontis nini naambiwa huyu mm. mtoto akona jontis mm. na akona baridi nyingine sio ya kawaida ukishika miguu kila mahali ni baridi na amefunikwa oh man nikasema god I remember I called everybody people were born again wote mm. wakakuja hospitali wakaja huko so people mm. are praying people wow. are praying people are praying mimi pia nilikuwa naomba nikamwambia mm. Mungu huyu no, wakienda hata mimi pia niende basi wow and mimi sikae and after after hizo ma test 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 the following day akasema amerudi back to normal hakuna jaundice everything is okay you can now go home so we went home with the baby and he's still there he's called now Noel wow. Israel How old? At three years, eight months now. Wow. Yes. So that's a miracle baby. A miracle baby. Did, now from that fit? time paka sasa hizi. Yes. Mtoto hajawahi kuonja kata kidogo. Hata chemichemi tu ya hii tu au mtoto ya kawaida sijawahi peleka mtoto hosi <laughs> kama ni mgonjwa. Was your faith faith raised to the next level? Yes. When you came out of hospital. Very much raised and I said now I want to serve God. Wow. Actually right now I'm a pastor. Oh great. Yeah, I pastor Ushindi Ushindi Baptist Church. Wow. Yes, yes. So so uh, we need to finish that's a really powerful testimony. So so today Victor you of course you sing you serve God um and this entire ordeal mm. has uh, taught you a lot of things. Yes. What are those things that you have learned as a result of you know losing two children but I've also learned, having two children? I've learned it's good for somebody somewhere out there to marry a wife. All right <laughs> because I we like have that. wives and we have knives okay so me have learned ah. somebody who is looking for somebody to marry look for a wife material wow because they are there we right. have wives and we have knives because ningao a knife aungekuwa ah nisingekuwa because mimi nilikuwa chini two have learned to be patient mm. don't hurry with things you will hear people will tell you this one is bad this one but mm. what is god saying about that issue right. so i've learned just to wait because ningekuwa na hari ningemfukuza wow. angenda so patient pays mm. uh, we were patient with mama and right now we are so happy for what yeah. god has done that patient also has also It's helped my lesson. mother mm. uh, my mother recovered and wow. from stroke wow. na akapenda mungu na akaokoka because i was so i was so patient with her right. also Wow. licha ya kukuwa mgumu ataki Mungu kabisa mm. mshowe nikamsema mama tu hata kama hautaki mimi bado nitakupenda tu so wow. alipona hiyo upendo akaokoka wow. three i've learned just to pray mm. eh, i've just just learned, just learned to pray be a prayerful and person read the word of god yes. and pray so wow. much those things are the things which has kept me and i thank god because i've healed already amen now god has healed you you're yeah. trusting him more Your faith has been elevated to the next level. Yes. We thank God. Thank you so much. My viewers unaweza nipata kwa YouTube. Uh, Victor Edi, I'm there. I have songs Eshimu Mungu na Jiweka kwako Yesu Rafiki. Barikiwe sana. All right. Thank you for coming to share your testimony. Mm. We pray that um, you have been able to you know you've been blessed by this testimony. So if you're going through an issue, you know what? Some people have gone through even tougher issues. but uh, be encouraged because through